Hi guys, um, welcome back. This is part 10 of our tutorial series, uh, build a website from scratch. Um, and what we're going to do in this section of the tutorial is we're going to add in a YouTube video, embed a YouTube video onto the page here um, and define a couple of styles for it, give it a bit of padding on the top. Um, and I want the video to basically take up the entire width of our content here so that there's no gap so that it's kind of in line with the edges of our text so in order to do that we need to know the width of our content right area so what we do is we go into our style sheet and we go down and we find our right content and we our right content has a width of 630 pixels so we know that that's how wide we want our video to be so what we need to do is we need to go into YouTube and this is the video that we're going to be embedding um, it is a high definition video um, so what we want to do is we want to embed that so in order to do that you go onto your YouTube channel uh, or your YouTube video and you click on share and one of the options is to embed so now what we wanted to do is we wanted to give it a custom height our custom width because as we said already it's 630 pixels wide for our content right so we want to go and we want to make the width of this 630 pixels so once we type in the 630 pixels it automatically gives it a width or a height itself um, and when because it's embedded I don't want to show any suggested videos when it finishes um, so that's the code generated there for it and it's an iframe code which means you can just copy and paste that in the same way we did with the Facebook code so if we right click copy that and then we go back into Dreamweaver and just after the paragraph tags here we'll create a line break there and we just paste our iframe in now if we refresh the page here you can see automatically that this appears um, but what I want to do is the next thing we have to do is we actually have to go back in here because we gave our content a height um, I want to remove that height because uh, we want the actual content on our pages to determine the height from here on in so what we can do is we can delete the height for our content we can also delete the height for our content right so we set that at 580 pixels so we just want to delete that so if we save that and we go back in here what we've done here is we've removed the widths and the heights for our content area so what it's done is it's just basically thrown everything into chaos so our video is there and it's great and you can see our content and but our background and our border is all missing because it doesn't have a determining height So because our web page um, isn't showing up the background anymore because our content doesn't actually have a height um, we have to go in and we have to apply a particular styling to our content area. So if we go to our style sheet here and we'll give a new property to it and what we want to do is we want to give it the overflow property and we want to set that to automatic so that it automatically sizes to our height dependent on our uh, content so if we save that and we go back to our page and you can see we now have our background in so we can put that to our browser and if we go onto our browser refresh the page there we have our white background and our document or our web page is sized to suit so we'll end the tutorial here and we'll continue on in the next one and uh, please be sure to subscribe and drop us a like if you like it and uh, leave our comments thanks for watching bye